What was that moment that it clicked in your head, though, Kurt, that you knew that you would never go back? And were you ever tempted to go back? You, man, you have relapse moments. You, yeah. have, you have relapse thoughts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I was tempted to go back a few times. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A few promises here, a few promises there. They ain't come through. I'm like, man, shit. Yeah. And then it's crazy because when you got your game over, the phone the phone calls ringing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know if you feel... Uh, 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 what's the girl? Uh, uh, Gazelda. The, uh, yeah. The, the Blanco. Yeah. Blanco, right? Yeah. I was locked there with her son, Cheeky, in Oakdale, Louisiana, Right. I stopped the Jamaicans. They were going to burn them up one day after the soccer game. But, man, it was cool. He used to walk the track every day. Oh, my God. Every day. So he he setting all type of ideas and plans. Man, you come on, we're going to do this and do that <laughs> and do that, right? <laughs> but all the time, my brain I already had my mind made up. I really wasn't going to do nothing. Yeah. But I'm still listening to yeah, this you shit, You still right? don't understand what's going on here. So, right. So even <laughs> when I came home... He, look, he told me, man, we're going we gonna to fly down Atlanta. We're going to fly down to Columbia. We're going we gonna to do party. I'm going to show you some party party and da da da. And I'm going to talk around the track. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, shit, we're going to see. But yeah. I'm saying to myself, I'm not going no more for Columbia to myself, right? Yeah. But again, to, to answer your question, when I came home, he used to call me. Man, what's, what's, what you going to do, man? We can get it to your door. We can get it to your door. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back with you. Like, yeah. I was still spinning them, right? Yeah. Uh, and you know uh, he ended up getting down. They ended up killing him, coming out of the club or something in mm. uh, uh, in Columbia. But man, even that moment had moments I thought about it. Moments after that I thought about it. And, man, people just stopped coming to me probably the last fifteen years. Yeah. Usually, dudes still coming to me. Even they see my walk and say, "Man, I know Slim. <laughs> man, you know I don't know. Ain't never ran my mouth, man. Get at me. You know what I'm saying, man? Do something with me, right? So they just yeah. realized probably fifty that this nigga really ain't doing nothing. Come right? on now, yeah, come on. You know what I'm saying, yeah. So man, so it's like, man, you know, I I, I had I, I made up my mind, man. Walking that yard with Grizel the son, man. I mean, yeah. what kind of stories was he oh, telling you man. about his mama them oh. and how the hell they were getting down in Columbia? Man, he was talking, man. He was. He, cause he he had just left. What happened was he had left. This before Rayford became a former. He was yeah. they was in Lewisburg together. He got transferred to Oakdale, Louisiana. Oakdale, Louisiana is an immigration joint. Yeah, where those you do your time, you go there, then they see you back in your country. Ah. so he was coming there and there. Ray sent a, 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 a letter saying, man, my man coming down there, man, just watch out for him, make sure everything cool. Yeah. So when he came down there, we bonded like that. Yeah. So we started walking. So Rayford gave him, Rayford gave him the whole history on me. Yeah. And then and I'm learning about him as he down there, right? Yeah. So man. He just telling him that. So now he know our whole case because he been, he been with Rafe. So, so he telling me how we was playing. But he said, man, y'all was getting money. But what, 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 what I'm going to do, y'all was playing damn near. You know what I'm saying? He said, man, we gonna, I'm going I'm to I'm bring it to your door, man. He, it was crazy, man. He give you a number for Miami, a number to New York, or a number to your door, right? Yeah. I mean, it was just crazy, right? But he was telling me how the, how they, how the beef was over the country, man. Um, how the kidnapping joint was. Um, yeah. He was infatuated with our town because he was locked over around a bunch of whole bunch of DC dudes. So he met girls from DC. Yeah. So he he knew a lot about DC, you know, running names there, man. So we used to have a lot of little talks, man. And uh what happened one day, they the the, the Columbus was playing the Jamaicans in soccer. Yeah. Some type of way the Columbus beat, but it was some, it was a big bet bet made and they won. So they was they was, they had a little eternal beef, right? And the Jamaican dude was strong down there. It was I didn't know the nigga was strong until he left, but he was he was real home. We used to change books. Yeah. And one day we walk on the track. In Oakdale, we had, it was nothing indoor. It was so hot. Everything was outside. The basketball court, everything. Yeah. We walk on the track one day. So I would see two dudes with raincoats on, like they lurking. So I said, let me go get some water. Look at this shit. So I get some water to keep it up. <laughs> they come walking to me. So I said, man, what's up? So they was like, nah, man. Um, Joe Blow, my man. I can't think of Jamaican dude. Tall dude. Dreads. Right? Yeah. He said, no, right, man. He said, man, your next time, don't 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 walk with the, the the Columbia boy. Don't walk on him, you know, on the next time around. So I look up there, and my man, just, um, we trade books. Smart yeah. dude, right? I ain't even know, you know, he moving like that, right? He gave me a look like, yeah. Now I get back, cheeky waiting for me. So we get back walking. He got his earphones on. He standing and walking. I walk. He said, what's up? I said, ain't nothing, man. So we ended up walking. He, so he said, man, I'm going to go back in. I said, all right, man, I'm going to walk to your unit. And I walked him past the Jamaican dudes yeah. to his unit. He went in his unit. He never came back out no more until they until they uh tra- you know until yeah. his time was up right. But the Jamaican dude was a little salty with me. Was like man, you know man, you know DC man. I never would have got your business. You know what I'm saying man. But I I had to tell him. I say look man, a dude like my brother, send him down here. You know what I'm saying under yeah. my watch. You know what I'm saying if y'all had to move, you could you had. I would respect you would brought down your own time. You know what I'm saying I ain't gonna run a play for him. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So it ended up happening. Cheeky left. 
And man, send me, send me about twenty five hundred. Whatever. Soon as you got home, send it right back. Send it right to my little account, man. And yeah. stayed in touch with me. He fell in love with me because he seen the play. Yeah. But he didn't never say he he knew what's going on. But he, he, I never said it, so he never said it. Yeah. But yeah, man. And, and so happened. Uh, you know, that was one of the stories with Cheeky, man. Man, had a lot of little talks, man.